So we gave a presentation to, uh, to our sheriffs and we focused on sex offenders. Sex offenders in a county, okay? It's open source information, so no one's gonna go into one of our counties. So what we did is we showed the sheriffs, hey look, I'm gonna put the house where every sex offender in this county lives on imagery for one of the counties. It'll pop up here in just a second. And now a lot of my sheriffs have never seen the imagery of their county before. They've never seen this stuff. You know, if you're a GIS specialist, I don't know if you feel this way, but the way that I always looked at GIS specialists was I didn't understand what they did. I just knew they were in the office at the end of the hall doing something. But I didn't understand it, so I didn't want to get involved with it. That's the way a lot of, I think, political appointees and politicians may think. I didn't know what they did, so as long as they were doing something good, let them do it. So, a lot of folks have not seen the imagery. So these are, click on one of these guys, Norman. This is one of Alabama's finest citizens right here. <laughs> uh, so we show the sheriff, we can show you on your imagery where all of the registered sex offenders are in your county. But because we have this Google Earth license, we get all sorts of other neat stuff too. So we, uh, we populate layers. So Norman, if you'll put up where the, the schools are, or the daycare centers are, or the bus routes are, or the bus stops, Anywhere that we know that a child will be in this county. Where are you going? Okay, we're a little slow. But in his demonstration, what he's going to show you is he's going to pop up schools, daycare centers, bus routes, and then we're going to go to that offender's house and we're going to draw a 2,000 foot circle around his house or her house. And if any of those things, bus stops, daycare center, schools, falls within that circle, then this individual is in violation of his, the terms of his parole. And so he either goes back to jail or he moves. So now you show this to a sheriff and he has to run for re-election every four years. So you help the sheriff make an argument that you are protecting the children in your county if you have this information. And you can run on this. You can also plan you know, tactical operations, whether you want to take down a meth lab or know where all of the known criminals are in your county, or keep track of crime trends, any of a number of things that would be important to a sheriff. So the sheriff says to me, okay, all right, I, I got it. Now what do I, what do I have to do for you now? You have to go find the best imagery, orthographic imagery in your county and just let us have it. Okay, we'll take a picture of it. We'll date stamp it. See, this is 2006 in Elmore County and then the other county is Tallapoosa County, 2003. That's the best imagery that we have for these counties. So we take a picture of it and we give it back to them. And we sign an agreement that says we'll do nothing with this for financial gain, etc., etc. And so the sheriff became our tipping point. They start getting us imagery, and it took us 14 months, 14 months to get all 67 counties loaded with imagery. 